everyone. Welcome to the third annual Holiday Blitz. I'm going to be going through this free workbook of printables that you can get at organized365.com slash holiday blitz if you want to have the printables. If not, just watch me live. If you're catching this later, you can always go over to the Organized 365 YouTube channel and you'll be able to see all five of these videos in order. So this is the third year that I am doing the Holiday Blitz. My name is Lisa Woodruff. I'm the founder of Organized 365 and I help you get your home and your paper organized in one year. Now this year, the holidays are going to be a little bit different, right? Like maybe you have always been very organized at the holidays and you have a plan that you follow every single year. But this year, because we're in a pandemic, you're like, ugh, how are we going to have awesome holidays? How are we going to create memories? How am I going to get the holiday spirit so I can spread it to my family? I'm going to help you do all of those things. Some of the things in this packet we're just going to save for next year because they're not going to be applicable this year, but almost all of it is. So I'm going to help you plan all of the holidays through the end of the year, starting with Thanksgiving, going into Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, New Year's, all of those holidays from the middle of November all the way through January 2nd. We have a lot of fun and memory making to do with our family. Don't worry if they're not in your household. Don't worry if you're not going to be able to travel and see them. We are going to have an awesome holiday season. So we're going to break this up into five days. The first day is really the most important day and I'm going to have you completely change how you think about planning for the holidays and where you're going to put your time and money and efforts this year. Day two, we're going to talk all about food, what food to have on hand, how food is going to work this year. Day three, we're going to talk about decorations and how we're going to have fun. How are you going to have um, a lot of fun things that you do with your family that may be different than you've done in the past. Day four, we're going to talk about household projects you might want to get done over the winter and the gifts that you're going to give. And then day five, I'm going to teach you how to keep all of this organized in the Sunday basket if you're using the Sunday basket so that you can look at it every Sunday, run your plan for the week and not feel like from now to the end of the year, every single day you're trying to do something related to the holidays. So let's start with day one. So if you go to pages two and three, <clears throat> you have two sheets. One is for Thanksgiving and one is for your December holiday or holidays of choice. If you celebrate more than one December holiday, just print out more than one copy. So Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever your December holiday is. We're going to think through these two holidays today. I will tell you, I am one of those people that really enjoys the holidays and I go all out like we have multiple Christmas trees. I have a Santa Claus sweater. I've been wearing Santa Claus sweater since way before there was an ugly Santa Claus sweater. I don't think it's an ugly thing. Don't worry. I will be wearing it in the live. I think it's on Wednesday. You're going to be seeing my beautiful holiday sweater. If you ask me, I love the holidays. I love to go above and beyond. However, nobody helps me. Like nobody helps me. I get everything out for setting up the Christmas tree and nobody helps me decorate. Nobody helps me put the boxes away. Nobody helps me cook. Everybody will eat everything. And then like I spend all day cooking and they come in, they eat for five seconds and then they're gone again. I'm like, get in here. <laughs> and finally I sat down, this was probably about seven years ago. And I said, okay, Lisa, your family, like Greg will say, he loves the house being decorated for the Christmas time, but nobody helps me. And I was like, okay, well, A, if nobody's going to help you, what do you want to do? Like what fills me up and what do I want to do? I like the house being decorated. All right, well then stop complaining about it. If you like it and you're doing it and nobody will help you, then just do it. So number one, what do I want? And then putting my effort into what I want, regardless of whether my family sings my praises and gives me the accolades that I'm looking for at the holidays. So number one is getting your mindset right. What do you want for the holidays? What do you want to put your effort into? What kind of energy level do you have? Frankly, this weekend, I had no energy level. Like I was like, all right, I guess I'm supposed to do things, but I don't feel like it. If you don't feel like it, don't do it. Like no one's going to come check your house to make sure you put up every single holiday decoration you've collected over the last bazillion number of years. So you can put up whatever you want. Number two, I realized that I love to have the house decorated. I love the way it feels, 
but I was over having every nook and cranny of my house decorated. Like every room had every flat surface and I was wrapping the banister and we had indoor lights and outdoor lights and just all kinds of stuff all over the house. And I realized that in order to make the house feel decorated, we celebrate Christmas. So to make it feel decorated for Christmas actually took about half of the decorations that I put up every year. So I sat down with my family and this is the key and this is why we're doing this the first week of November. You have to do this before you've decorated the house, before you've got the turkey ready for Thanksgiving, before you've pulled anything out. You need to sit down with your family at the next meal or the next time you're sitting there getting ready to watch the football game or whatever and ask them questions. If you've already decorated the house for Christmas, if you've already brought, bought the Thanksgiving fixings, this won't work because they will see what you've just done and they will call out what you've done as what they want. So we want to do this before you've done anything. And you're going to go through these sheets. So for Thanksgiving, you are going to say to your family, what are your favorite Thanksgiving foods? Like what are the things that you love at Thanksgiving? And for some of us this year, like I'm making Thanksgiving dinner. Yes, I can make a turkey. I make amazing mashed potatoes. Everything else will be store-bought. I'm not a good cook. My mother-in-law is a great cook. She's not cooking. You know, other people in our family are great cooks. We're not traveling. So what are the things that are the favorites? My family likes a pumpkin pie. I did make one pumpkin pie from scratch. I will be getting my pie from Frisch's. So I now know we like pies. We like pumpkin pie. Greg loves pecan pie. Nobody else loves pecan pie. Do you know what Frisch's, which is big boy here in Ohio, you may not have that store, but uh, do you know what they sell? They sell pie by the slice. So I can have a pumpkin pie and a slice of pecan and boom, I'm done with Thanksgiving. I don't have to make from scratch two brand new pies because my husband wants to have one slice of pecan pie and then the rest of the pie is going to go bad. So what is your favorite dessert? What are the sides that you love to have with turkey? How much turkey do you want to have left over for leftovers? When you have leftovers, does that become sandwiches? Okay, now we're into food. We'll talk about that tomorrow, but things like that. What does your family want to eat at the holidays? What do they want to eat in December? What do they want to eat when they're watching a football game? What do they want to, you know, what are the snacks? <laughs> what are the snacks that they want to eat? What are the desserts they want to eat? What are the main ingredients that they want to eat? Now let's go to decorating. When this was so impactful when I did it with my kids, they were probably 14 and 15 the first time I did this. I said, when you think about Christmas at our house and the decorations in our house, what are the things that you love? They all loved the Christmas tree and the fact that we have two Christmas trees. So they love that. They love stockings. There's this little tiny wooden train that I have from my grandparents' house. They love that. They love fires and we're doing a lot of fires. That's in Greg's thing. They did not mention garlands on banisters. They did not mention any table decorations. They did not mention the decorating I was doing in the bathrooms, people. I was over the top in everything I was doing. They only mentioned those things. So that next year, I put up two Christmas trees, uh, the manger, the stockings, and a couple of wreaths. And you know what? My family thought I did everything. And I did like a third of what I normally do. And then the next year, I just donated all of that. Other questions that we're going to ask them, oh, what is your favorite cookie? So I came to find out that, you know, I made like 15 kinds of cookies or bought 15 kinds of cookies. They only like chocolate chip. My family likes chocolate chip cookies. You can get that anytime. Like they weren't even Christmas cookies, Christmas cookies. They just wanted chocolate chip cookies. What do they like to drink? Joey loves hot chocolate with marshmallows in it. Greg and Abby don't want any holiday uh, drinks at all. I make an awesome wassail. Nobody drinks it, so I don't make it. What do they like to do? My 14 and 15 year old kids said they like to drive around and look at Christmas lights. I was like, okay. I didn't realize that was a thing we still did. So that's where I'm going to leave you today. I know this video is really short, but I want you to go ahead and get these printables, print them out. They will have the questions that you're going to ask your family on there. What's your favorite part of Thanksgiving? What foods do you love? What foods could you live without? Uh, what would you like to contribute this year? Like, would they like to make a part of Thanksgiving? Uh, what do you want to eat this holiday season? What family activities do you want to do together? What decorations are important to you? Those kinds of questions are the questions that you're going to be asking. Now, I know the holidays are going to be different. And on these sheets, we do say, will you host any visitors this year? Will you do any traveling? Most of us will not. Some of you still will. So these sheets could be used this year 
and in future years this year today if at all possible i would love you to get on a phone call have dinner with your family and find out what is memorable for them from now until january 1st what are the things that they remember doing every single year and they want to make sure that you do again this year and what are the things that they don't even mention if they don't mention them and you don't bring them out you don't have to do them now they are going to mention some things that maybe may not be possible in a pandemic i want you to write them down anyway and we're going to see if there are ways that we could do something similar or something to replace those activities so that we don't feel like there's this big vacuum during the holidays Tomorrow, we will talk more about food. How are we going to get the food we're going to have? What food are you going to prepare? Who's going to prepare it? And we'll go from there. You guys, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.